Hi, my name is David Welch. I'm here at Brothers Tech Center here to help you solve another problem on your truck. Rust is the bane of your truck's existence. When the leaves fall down in the cow right here, they move on down, they get trapped, that moisture gets stuck down there and it rusts. Then I have to fix it. We're going to solve that problem with our trash guard right here. This is going to keep all the leaves and dirt from getting into our cow in the first place and keep our rust at bay. I'm going to show you how to take this here off and then I'll show you how to put the other piece in. Before you get into something like this though, think about all the peripheral things you might need. You'll notice the rubber on the hood cow right here is missing. You might want to get some new wipers, different things like that. So be prepared before you get into it. When I'm going to be taking these off, I'm going to take my hood cow rubber out of the package, I'm going to put it in the sun, and I'm going to get it warmed up. You want to do that with all your rubber products because it makes them more malleable and easier to install. When you're taking off your windshield wiper here, you want to know that there is a little tab that's right here. It's hard to see and a lot of times you miss it and that's the reason you can't get these off. That little tab has to be moved back before you can pull off your wiper arm. Now obviously you're going to want to put tape on that or what have you. We've got a nice patina truck. I don't really have to worry about that. So I'm going to be able to pull this off pretty easy here. There's nothing really um, weird about this or hard to do. Keep in mind you've got a couple that are in the back right here. And there's another here and here. There's two half inch bolts on either side that are bolting this down. One's going to be right here. Now you might have some shims on this that'll raise it up or down to help it line up with the hood. You'll need to open up your door all the way. There's another bolt that's right here that also might have shims on it. If they do, make sure you take them out, save them, and mark where they went. So hopefully your lineup will go right back to where you want it. So I'll get the rest of this off and I'll show you how to put the rest of this stuff in. With the cow out, we can go ahead and install our trash guard right here. What you're going to want to do is put both sides down. You'll notice that the holes are already punched out for your screws to go in, your wiper arms, and your water to spray on your windshield. Line up our holes here. And it comes with two little screws. We're going to put the two pieces together. We're going to make sure that they line up in all the holes. Then we'll simply put these two little screws right in there and it'll make it one piece. Now I can put my cowl back on, put my rubber in and screw everything down with the new screws I got too. Got my trash cart in place. I've got my nice warm rubber slid up into there. I'm going to use an awl like this and I'm going to get my holes lined up and I'm going to start with putting a screw into the center here and I'm going to tighten it up a little bit. I want to get it firmed up some but not too much because generally what will have to happen is you'll need to pull this rubber down just a bit and line up this hole and then the next hole on down. Then I'll flip around and I'll do the other side and then I will put my shims back in, put my bolts back on, close my hood, and go for a ride. Okay, so you can see we're all done. You didn't even need a friend to help you out. We've got our guard in. It fits in nice and flush. It's going to keep all your trash out. Be sure and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see as many helpful handy hints as we have.